Are you enjoying these videos? Try subscribing to the Alexander Arguez newsletter for more language learning content. Each month, receive musings from the professor's desk, hear student testimonials, and get book and video recommendations that will enhance your self-education. The link is in the description below. Please subscribe. You will not regret it. Yeah, let's go into this one. Yeah, um, so like all pursuits, really, like ultra marathoning, uh, a physical pursuit, a spiritual discipline, um, we, we could say that on average, every human would be benefited by having one of these practices in their life. And uh, I know you're interested in talking a little bit about why it's it's almost a, a disservice to your hand, humanity in a way to be a monolingual person. Uh, I don't know if that's too harsh of verbiage, but I don't know. What do you think? No, that's, I mean, I'm a native, you know, I'm a native monolingual English speaker. I don't know any foreign languages, you know, sort of was given to me by, you know, by being passed on or getting from the environment. Everything I know is, you know, learned. Um, and I think that, um, so I know what it was like to be monolingual. I know what it was like to really become interested in languages and realize, you know, if you're monolingual, you can't help but really identify objects with words and think that the way that you think is the only way there is to think and the only way you can phrase things, the only way you can think about things. And um, none of that is true. And I think there's nothing that opens your eyes to that more than being able to think in a foreign language, to use other words for the same things and to phrase your ideas about them and to have them, the, the, your ideas be phrased, uh, worded or, or with a totally different perspective from a different grammatical point of view and from a different culture's point of view. So um, I would say that in my mind, being monolingual is kind of like having um, a handicap and not knowing it, kind of like lacking a sense. You know, we talk about having five or six senses of, you know, of, 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 uh, you know, this is kind of knowing other languages like is having like a seventh or eighth sense. It's, you know, and and you, you don't know that you're missing it if you don't have it. But um, with you, you know, if you just think about it and think about um, what that could bring you, I mean, you know, study people who've, who've talked about that, then I think it becomes clear it is, you know, that the most famous image to push is like uh, Plato's image of people in the cave sitting chained and seeing their shadows and that's all they know but if you can stand up and turn around you realize that there's much more out there and so learning a foreign language can be really open your perspective uh, to to that degree um, so uh, then I would also think that <clears throat> being monolingual um, it is you know it, it seems normal uh, in uh, in large swathes of the globe you know, to, to, to have lots of monolingual people. Um, but uh, I think ultimately we can also look at large swathes of the globe where people are naturally multilingual. And you look at that and you think, you know, if we know that there are societies out there where everybody can speak a handful of languages, then that tells you that there's nothing special about those minds. There's something special about the people who are doing that. Um, it's just that they were exposed to those that number of languages in a way that they could pick them up. So it, tells us that our minds are capable of functioning on, on multiple with multiple different languages. And if we only have one language, then it's kind of like we've been cheated. Uh, I've, I always felt it's like, you know, why don't I know more languages? You know, well, you can make up for it. You can teach yourself languages. You, you can learn languages. But yeah, I always felt that that was like, you know, if that's something that you, um, you, 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 you could do, your mind is capable of, but you're not doing it. It's like you're not claiming your birthright. You're not claiming your um, your ability to, to think in, in different things. And ultimately, to me, you know, and again, this is not for everybody, even everybody's interested in language, but I think you're interested in this and a lot of people are. Um, there's a, there is that sort of questing philosophical, you know, mind expanding aspect of the, the whole language learning project and trying to understand, you know, what it is um, that it's, we just take it for granted, but this ability that we have to communicate by language, by spoken language is really remarkable. And it's kind of the same in all the languages that we do it in, however different they are, it's the same basic procedure. So the number of different ways that we have for doing that can only tell us more, help us understand on a deep level um, what it is that we're doing when we're, when, we're, when we're thinking and speaking. This is stuff that you can never understand if you're monolingual. If you're monolingual, the way that you think is, you know, it's completely, completely tied to your words. So um, yeah, it just seems to me um, that 
looking at that situation, when I was monolingual, that was sort of my earlier, earliest drive. Why did I want to become a, a polyglot? Because I felt that I'd been cheated out of not knowing. I, I, knew thing that, I knew that knowing more languages had opened my horizons. And it just seemed like a challenge that I had to take up. It was like, I don't want to accept being, you know, having this sort of limit, limited linguistic horizon. I mean, there's so many famous quotes out there that the, 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 the I think it's Wittgenstein, die, die Grenzen meiner Sprachen sind die Grenzen meiner Welt, the, 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 the borders of my languages are the borders of my world and however many languages you know how that's how many people you are i mean there's all sorts of proverbs and stuff like that that are you know, there's a good grain of truth in that um and so um just to take that as a challenge you know i i i want to grow i want i want to attain you know i want to get what what I, I i should choose and and just thinking about that too being monolingual nobody chooses the language that you're monolingual in. you're you're you and i are lucky to have english as a mono language because it's it's a big world language has opened lots of doors but it, we could be speaking some little language that you know only the people in our village speak and and you know not being able really to go outside of that um and so uh but we didn't choose that it's not our virtue and languages the language that you think in really does you know it's it's sort of it's it's like your programming it's you know the way you think it's it's a wavelength it's a frequency you're thinking in certain terms you're thinking in certain concepts you're thinking with certain words and in your mother language your monolingual language, you didn't choose that you didn't put that in there when you can develop your ability in a foreign language to think on the same sort of complex abstract intellectual level uh, where you're thinking about concepts that are meaningful to you but you've chosen these concepts you've chosen to put that in there even though this might be the mother language of somebody else you know but in your case it's not you have pro you've done the programming you've taken charge of that and when you can sort of take charge of 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 the way your mind works the way you think about things uh, and and feel the difference in the you know the the feeling that you have when you're thinking in different languages and really resonating with the different cultures yeah the richness of that is so great that really i do think that being being monolingual is kind of a a sad condition but i would really preface that or or or, or buffer that by saying I, I think it's really a sad condition for like like all those people in the cave, they're 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 there. They're in a cave. They don't know it. So if if what I'm saying is right, then it objectively is. But I also think that, you know, it's 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 something that really ought to be highlighted first and foremost to people like you who are interested in learning languages and you think, well, it's hard or I can't do it, or maybe I need to do this, or I'm thinking, you know, I'd, I'd like to fantasize about it. I like to think about it, but now I want to actually put it into action and do it. Um, that's the kind of person I think really needs to hear this kind of message that, well, yeah, it is possible to take control of your mind because, um, yeah, I mean, it's what I've said. I think everything I said is, is, is true, but I also think that, you know, I, I, I just know that there are so many people who are utterly, utterly, utterly uninterested in, you know, in, in foreign language learning at all. It's a totally alien concept to them, uh, and yet they're engaged in, in various kinds of other um, mental mastications of, of, of various types. And so, you know, they're totally, you are able to do that in any one language. And that's another really interesting thing or, or hard thing about um, sort of breaking out of the monolingual burden is that when you're, once you've developed your ability to be really good in one language, when you're learning a foreign language, you're kind of always thinking, you know, something in the back of your mind is telling you, hmm, am I ever going to be as good in this as I am already? And so that's sort of a, a burden that you need to overcome, a hurdle. Uh, and then just rephrasing that in terms of the other challenges that I had is a good way Way to to overcome that because uh barring that yeah i think that um people if you if you're if you're in a monolingual bubble bubble eh, bubble if you're in a monolingual bubble <laughs> um it's uh it can be really uh strange to think of even breaking out of that but that's the beautiful and fascinating thing about this uh this internet age is that we no longer have to be in in a bubble like many of us like i was most of my younger life when i was your age because there was no internet i didn't know have a way to get in touch with other people who are really interested in learning lots of languages but now that is possible mm -hmm. no i really i really love that uh it's kind of interesting to me um you always talk about how it it will give your language learning more meaning if you are able to make it a mental pra practice, a physical and a spiritual practice. And to me, this one just strikes me as a, it gives it a lot of reason. It gives it a lot of spiritual meaning to me in the sense of like, I've I've heard like, uh, I guess, Buddhist people talk about how a lot of the, uh, the most meaningful things in existence are like pre-verbal almost. Um, <laughs> and, uh, 
you're kind of talking about how this could be a method of getting there, like almost like a method of enlightenment to a degree. I don't know. It, it, it is. I and mean, I've talked about it. I've got a specific exercise that I, I tell people to, particularly when you're learning a language, you got to shut off the panicking impulse in your head and shut off the translation impulse in your head and just try to, after you've been thinking or shadowing in the language, just let that resonate. Just, you know, try to hear those same sentences and try to phrase things and just sort of keep your mind focused in the language, even when you don't know the language, but you've just been listening to it and hearing it and build it from that point, getting in the habit of not, not at, you know, um, reverting to your native language, but sort of switching into it is, uh, yeah, that's a spiritual process. It's sort of part, you got to calm down and relax and, 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 and ease into it.